hey guys welcome to my channel today i'll be doing a makeup tutorial this is going to be a quick makeup tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to do your makeup in less than 10 minutes that way if you are just a girl who likes to keep it simple this is a good look for you i like to make my simple looks with the wing eyeliner because i feel like it brings out my eyes better and since i already have like a slanted eye I try to just make sure my eyes are always accentuated and I'm going to be using my L'Oreal moisturizer before I apply my makeup because I prefer to use a moisturizer over using a primer. A primer I feel is sticky and it just makes the makeup feel like cakey. As in a moisturizer it keeps my skin moisturized and it blends the foundation better for me. I'm using L'Oreal Hygienist. You can check out my Amazon storefront if you're wanting to purchase it. Now this is a blending sponge. I'm going to be using it with my dark corrector to blend out all the discoloration within my face. I use the orange one because it's more so for discoloration and dark spots. There are other colors you can use. I think it's just based off of your skin type and your condition and what issues you're trying to correct. Now I'm going to be using the foundation on this blending sponge. With this foundation, I like to use a blending sponge and then put the foundation on a lid because I find it blends better and it's easier for a buildup if you're trying to go for a full coverage look because you don't want the when you don't want to apply the makeup like super cakey, you want to start off light and build up. Now I'm loving just loving this um, makeup, you guys. I think NYX is just such a good brand. I haven't had any issues with their product yet. And I've been trying literally everything they make. So when I say that I'm loving the foundation, I'm loving it. I've been hearing good reviews about e.l.f., so I'm going to definitely try that next. And then now I'm going to go in with a powder. I'm not going to be doing any contouring because, like I said, this is a 10-minute makeup look. So this is one of those uh, quick... Um, just looks to go or just like a family gathering or if you're just trying to do a light look or if you're just like an everyday person you don't like to contour this is something easy i like to set the liquid foundation with the powder because it makes the foundation last longer as well as it gives a more full coverage look and then i like to go back in of course with a another um blending brush just to get all the excess foundation that was on my face off so it can look more even look how good that foundation blends now i'm going to be going in with the eyebrow pencil this eyebrow pencil is just a regular brown i like to just fill in the outlines and then just blend it with a blending tool i forgot what this is called i think it's like a mascara tool but a lot of people use it for their eyebrows including me i like to brush my eyebrows up so it looks more natural this tends to be the new trend right now i guess it does give that um natural look instead of that check mark look where it's like drawn on so i really recommend using this brush and just always blending out your eye brows because you don't want that like dark look you want it to look as natural as possible and look like actual hairs and then i'm going to go in with my eyeliner i like to start with a just a regular pencil because when i go in with the liquid it kind of just makes the eyeliner darker and then it gives my wing a more sharper look i feel when you use a eye a eyeliner pencil it kind of smears your wing and I unless you want it that way I kind of want mine like a real sharp look I want it to be known that I'm wearing a eyeliner and I'm doing a wing look now I go in with the NYX liquid eyeliner as you can see this liquid eyeliner is amazing it stays moisturized it doesn't dry out the top is easy to put on and take off it's not like a difficult um, eyeliner gel pencil like some eyeliner gel pencils just be too hard to pull off they dry out or they could make your eyeliner look clumpy so this one's a really good one and as you can see i like to pull my eyelid up just because it makes the eyeliner look better more defined and just more neat and i really love this look 
Then we're going to go in with the eyelashes. I got my eyelashes off of Amazon. I put them in mostly all of my YouTube makeup tutorials. Um, I love to use these eyelashes. They work really well. They have a glamour look, but they also blend in because they're like wispy. So I definitely recommend it. And I like to always go back over my eyeliner when I apply the eyelashes with a gel just because when you apply the eyelashes and the glue sometime it can wipe off the eyeliner so you don't want that wiped off you want it to definitely blend so i recommend always double checking that and just going back and fixing it if it is now you can apply your eyelashes before your eyeliner but i like to apply the eyeliner first so it can give a more blended look when you apply your eyelashes and now i'm going to be using the dark brown lip liner with this dark brown lip liner, I'm using two different colors because I wanted a deep dark brown and then I wanted a light brown to blend out. And then I'm going to go in with a nude because I'm doing a simple look. And my simple look is always either a brown lip with some lip gloss or a brown lip with a, a lip pencil, a nude lip pencil, I mean. So you can do whatever your lip combo is that you like that you're every day. Or if you don't have a lip combo and you just want to slap on some chapstick, you can head out. I think this is a really simple look. I love it. It's a really basic look, but it also just accentuates your natural future. So it doesn't like, like with contouring, it kind of changes your facial appearance. I feel like with this look, it kind of just enhances what's already there. And then it's also easy and it's less than 10 minutes. Literally, this video was less than 10 minutes. And if you can look and see, I love an NYX matte setting spray. I used to use the Dewy, but since I have oily skin in the summertime, it just made me sweat. So I recommend using the matte finish if you are in the heat or in the summertime where it's a very humid or you sweat. And in Arizona, it's dry, but for some reason, I'm always sweating. So I love to do a matte look. And then also you can use the white translucent powder to blot your sweat areas if you want to. I didn't do it in this video, but I hope you guys like it. Take care.